how do search engines work? Uh, these are some of the, the jargon terms, and this is fundamental, really, um, because, as I say, all the guidelines that we're going to be talking about, about how to optimise your site, are based, let's use a slightly posher word, predicated upon the ideas that we're going to be talking about now, about how search engines work. When you type something into Google and you run a search, so let's, for argument's sake, say that we search for small car, The technical term for the phrase small car, which I've just typed into Google, is that is my key phrase, or those were the key words with which I ran the search. Key phrase, key words, doesn't matter. The thing to remember is that's what the customer, me, just typed in uh, for whatever I was looking for. So what Google then did was it went away, ran a search, and in you know, under 0.2 of a second, gave me back some results, which is lovely stuff. Now, how did it do that? And what are the mechanics underlying that? That's what we're going to be talking about now. What one types into the search box on Google is the key phrase, as we just discussed. Or the key word, doesn't really matter what, what you want to call it. And the fundamental thing here to appreciate is that in that 0.2 of a second, what Google did not do was go away and search the internet because it could not physically, nothing could search the internet in 0.2 of a second. Google's good, but it's not that good. So what Google actually did was go away and search a database, which is called the index. And this is where Google, and I'm using Google here as shorthand for search engines in general, they all work the same way. Google went away and searched a locally stored version of the internet. So it's a bit like if you have a computer if you, search, if you open a document on your hard drive, it pops up straight away because the hard drive is very quick. If you try and open a document that's on a disk, it takes what, you know, chugs a little bit and it takes a couple of seconds for it to, for it to load up. That's, the, that's why Google can be as quick as it can be because it's got a hard drive version of the internet, effectively. So the question then becomes, how does it build this hard drive version of the internet, this locally stored version? And what it does, um, as, the, as, the, as the gentleman alluded to before, is it has little programs, little spies, effectively, that go around the internet and report back on what they find. And these are commonly known as spiders. They are also known as crawlers. They can be known as robots. And they can also be known as bots. You can tell the internet's full of boy geeks, can't you, from the names that they give things. So what these little programs do is visit websites bless you, um, and report back to the index on what they find. And what they report back on is basically the content on every page that they find and the links on every page that they find. Okay? And these characteristics of every page are what are basically sent back to the index. Okay? So when we're going to be talking about search engine optimization, it's almost by default. It's going to be all about content and links because that's how search engines think. Those are the properties of a page that the search engine is searching on and deem relevant in order to give you a good result, you, the audience. So when you are running the search, you go from the keyword, the keyword and the search engine searches its index. When it's doing that, um, it uses its algorithm. Okay. Algorithm is a posh word for a computer program, so don't be scared of it. It's just a series of instructions. So what happens is, is that the algorithm is Google's secret source, effectively, and it's the decision-making process that it goes through in order to say, you are searching for small car, what do I give you? Do I give you random pages, or do I try and find something that's relevant for small car? The way that it thinks about finding something relevant is called the algorithm, and on the basis of the algorithm, it runs the search, and it spits back its results onto the results page. So when we're talking about search engine optimization and what Google likes, what Google doesn't like, what we're really talking about is its algorithm. And about every three to six months, a search engine's algorithm will be updated. Uh, algorithm updates, everyone in the search engine community throws their hands in the air and has a bit of a panic. Effectively, all it means is that where you, whereas you were on result number three, you might now be result number four. It's not normally a drastic change. 
It can be, but it's not normally. It's not normally something that most of us need to worry about. And to be honest, Google's the fundamentals of how Google searches haven't really changed for quite some time and are unlikely to change for quite some time. So the principles that we will talk about today are almost certainly going to apply no matter how many algorithm updates happen because the basics, the logic of it, hasn't changed for quite some time and is unlikely to do so immediately. Is it true that the, the, the reason why they do their algorithm updates is to try and overcome the, the methods that some people will use to artificially increase their, their rankings? on? Yes, the partially. partially. Um, well, there's any number of reasons, yes. One reason for an algorithm update is that um, there are ways, there are, well, as we'll talk about later, there are sort of honest ways, as it were, of optimising your site, and there are dishonest ways of optimising your site, or ways that Google considers dishonest, mm -hmm. shall we say. And Google's entire business model is, is based on the idea that it's a search engine that gives you the best results. Mm -hmm. And if it stops doing that, then its competitive advantage disappears and it goes from you know, worth billions and billions to you know, worth peanuts. So it's in their interest to find ways to keep delivering better and better search results. Part of that is going to be filtering out people who are cheating, because their sites aren't that good, necessarily, and they're, and they're trying to manipulate the results. Other things, just as an example, is going to be, you know, how do we, do we want to return images? Do we want to return video, social media? All of these things are part of the algorithm update, whereby, for instance, before, you know, if they find a new way of spidering or figuring out that a, video, a piece of video is about small car, then they may wish to include that in an algorithm update. So it's new types of content as well as dealing with people who perhaps are being a little bit naughty. Question. Um, when you talked about spiders and the algorithm, the spiders um, go out on a scouting mission every three months or so yep. to work out what's new in whatever kind of category and then report back. Yep, when theory. you run an algorithm, when, when Google runs an algorithm, when you type in a key phrase into the search engine, yes. what, is it, what does it do to, to what does it use to, to search for the image? Is that the spiders or is that... Yeah. That's, that's just, just an automatic. That's just a computer program. Okay. It's right. you know it's it, it's a computer program sitting notionally um, within the index database. That it's just it's just a retrieving the content which is of, of most relevance for your key phrase from within the index. So the, the spider so isn't the spider's doing isn't the job. instantaneous thing. It, it's a, it's more the ongoing updating of rankings and well, where the spider's job is to give the raw material, and the raw material is what appears on your site and who you're linking to. Yeah. That's the raw material. And the spiders are doing this constantly, you know, thousands of them all around the world, et cetera, et cetera. The algorithm is separate, and its job is to take that raw material and make an intelligent decision and give you a search result. Okay. So building a spider is actually really, in theory, really easy, because it's just, okay, send me all the content on this page and identify the links on this page. Simple. There's no, you know, every search engine's spider is basically very similar. The algorithm is where the, the clever stuff happens. The algorithm is what makes a search engine possible and takes all of this stuff in, in the database and says, for the search query small car, out of the thousands and thousands of pages, what's relevant? And that's where, if you were to come up with a new algorithm, which was better than Google, you know, you, you would be a billionaire yeah, you know, in about three months. You'd make an obscene amount of money. And what we're going to be talking about when we're talking about search engine optimization are the very fundamental bits of how the algorithm in Google and every other search engine works. Um, the more sophisticated you know, tweaks and bells and whistles on the algorithm, nobody understands, nobody knows. Because if you did, you could build Google and you could, you, could, you, know, you could build your own search engine. But the very important building blocks are pretty well understood. Right, so these are the phrases, or some of the phrases that, that, we've, that we've just talked about. Uh, so hopefully none of them... Um, even if initially you weren't terribly familiar with, with them, they, all sh they should now be you know, old source to you. So the key phrase, as we've talked about, is what someone types in. The index is the database, the, the, you know, the hard drive, spiders, the programs that go and report back, the algorithm, the things that actually does the searching, the thing that, do, that, that does the searching, and the most interesting element of the search engine, one could argue. And these slides just seek to make a bit prettier, to be honest, the diagram which I sketched out for you, which is that spiders go out, look at websites, report back into the index, and then when you run a search, what, the, what, what you're giving actually is the phrase to the algorithm that does the work in the index and then sends it back to the results page. So that should all be 
that should all be pretty clear. So the, the fundamentals of search engine optimization are going to be, therefore, one, you have to appear in the index. Because if you do not appear in the index, the search engine does not know you exist. And this can be a problem for new websites. Because if you, if you create a new website out of the blue um, and nobody's linking to it, the spider won't, will not know your URL, cannot do any typing, therefore cannot find your website because you're a little island and no one's linking to you. So there's no way that the spider can find you. So the first challenge is to make sure you are in the index and the spiders can find you. Uh, the second thing then is going to be to optimize your site so that the algorithm thinks you are relevant as possible for the key phrases you want to be found for, for the things that your audience are going to be typing in, your potential customers, however you want to phrase that. Okay, so those are the two fundamental areas of interest as far as search engine optimization goes for natural search. Is there anything about that that anyone would like to discuss? Because as I say, it's simple, but it's fundamental and we need to make sure we're confident in our understanding of that. You've got the look of someone who wants to say something. Okay. Um, if, if that algorithm, the time it takes to get into that index is yes. about three months. How long then does it cost, how long does it take for a, an online PR um, release and a blog to get into that index? It depends on where it's placed. Uh, so for instance, if it's an online press release and it's placed on um, a very popular site, which the search engine knows is popular, that site would be spidered multiple times a day because it knows that this is a press release site, it knows press releases are going up hour by hour, so the spiders will be all over it constantly. So in that example, um, it wouldn't take very long at all. And if on that press release you link back to your site, then the spider would in all likelihood follow that and find your site through your press release. So that would be, and again, when we get to it, that's a, that, that is an example of a way of doing link building, which is encouraging links to your site so the spiders can find your site. And that, that would be a good example. But um, that's with online PR, um, public relations, press releases, you know, if you, um, if you do post it on a site that's very popular, then the spider will, will visit it more and more often. But if, for instance, I built a new website and I was, I was linked, the only link I had to my website is from yours, and your website is only visited once every three months by a spider, then there's, that's the only way the web, that the spider's going to find me, because it's the only link I have. It's the only possible, it's the only road leading from the internet to me because the typing of a URL doesn't count as a road because the spider can't type. So there are other ways that you can encourage a spider to come to you, which we will discuss, apart from purely links, but links is the best way. 